So this one's going to be a fast one. We're going to take a look at this linear graph and we're going to find x and y values. If we know an x value, we can find a y value. If we know a y value, we can find an x value. So our first question is find x when y equals negative 4. Okay, so this is our y axis, this is our x axis, this is our y axis. So when y equals negative 4, y equals negative 4, there it is, y equals negative 4. So I can now draw a line from y equals negative 4 until I touch that line. And then I move up and see what my x value is at that point. And this line should be, uh, should be vertical, and this line should be horizontal. You can see I'm a little bit wonky here. I'm not using a ruler, I'm not using graph paper, but straight across and straight up. And it looks like when y equals negative 4, x equals negative 2. That means that there is a point here on our linear graph that is negative 2, negative 4. Negative 2, negative 4. Uh, what else can we do? We can say, B, um, what about if we knew the x value? Let's find y when x equals 2. So this time we know what x is. So let's look along the x-axis. x is equal to 2. There it is. And then we'll move straight up from there. That should be a straight line. And straight across to our y-axis here. And you can see I'm right in the middle there. And that is 1.5. So y when x equals 2, y equals positive 1.5, which means that this point on our linear graph is 2, 1.5. All right, there are a couple of other ones that I want to show you really quickly because they can trick people up. What about finding x when y equals 0? Uh, now, where does y equal 0? Here's my y-axis. y is equal to 0. There it is, right there. That's where y is equal to 0. And I want to know what x is. So I move along the x-axis until I hit my linear graph here. Okay, so when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. And that means that that point there is 1, 1, 0. And of course, we can sort of do the opposite of that. What is the value of y when x equals 0? All right, so uh, x equals 0. We know that. Here's our x-axis. Where does x equal 0? Right there. But this time, we're trying to find out what y is equal to. So now we need to move along the y-axis until we hit... And it's right there, which looks like negative 1.5 which means that that point on our linear graph here is um, 0, negative 1.5. All right, that is an important skill to have. It's, um, it takes some practice to make sure that you are moving along the correct axis and getting to the correct point. You don't want to do this stuff in reverse, otherwise you get all turned around. Okay, practice, practice.